through the winding paths of his sherry they walked. The madman casting wary glances over his shoulder, while Yemi she trailed behind, her resolve growing stronger with each step. Finally, in a quiet corner of the village, the madman turned to face her, his eyes clouded with confusion. Why do you follow me, madwoman? Have I troubled you in any way? He asked. In the heart of Yoruba land lies a small village called Isheri. This village is not just any village. It's a place filled with rich culture and traditions that guide its people every day. In Isheri, the air is always filled with the sweet melodies of cultural dances and music. The villagers take great pride in their traditions, passing them down from generation to generation. One of the things that make Isheri special is its fertile farmlands. The soil is so rich that it yields great foods, from juicy fruits to bountiful crops. And every week, the villagers gather at the Isheri market to sell their produce. People from neighboring villages come to buy, making the market a bustling hub of activity. At the heart of Isheri is its ruler, Oba Adeinka. He has been the king for 20 years since his father passed away. Oba Adeinka is a wise and caring leader who always puts his people first. Oba Adeyinka has a wife and a daughter named Yemisi. Yemisi, often called Omoba, which means the king's child, is a beautiful and kind-hearted young woman. She loves her village and its people, and they love her in return. Yemisi is just 19 years old, but she is already a role model for other young girls in Isheri. She's kind, compassionate, and always ready to lend a helping hand. One of Yemisi's greatest passion is dancing. She loves to join in the village's music and dance festivals, where she can showcase her skills and celebrate her culture. Yemisi's best friend is Bola, another talented dancer from the village. Together, they light up the dance floor with their graceful moves and infectious energy. In Isheri, the young men admired Yemisi's beauty and grace. But according to tradition, she would not marry until she reached the age of 20. Despite the attention, Yemisi remained focused on her duties to the village spreading joy wherever she went. Oba Adeyinka and his wife are incredibly proud to have Yemisi as their daughter. They admire her strength, kindness and dedication to her people. As the days pass, Isheri village continues to thrive. The villagers work hard in their fields, grateful for the blessings they receive from the gods. And at the center of it all is Yemisi, a shining example of everything that is good and true in Isheri. In the quiet village of Isheri, time flowed gently, weaving stories of its own. But amidst the laughter and joy, whispers of a stranger stirred the air. A young man, once seen, had wandered into Isheri, his mind lost to madness. He roamed the streets, murmuring to himself, a ghostly figure in the vibrant village. The people of Isheri watched with weary eyes as the madman passed through their midst. Though he showed no violence, a wildness locked within him, a silent warning to those who dared approach. Every day, 
he would wander past the palace of Oba de Inca, his presence a haunting mystery to all. One day, as the sun dipped low in the sky, Bola found herself in the palace with Yemisi. Together, they watched as the madman shuffled by, lost in his own world. Yemisi's heart stirred with curiosity, and she turned to Bola, seeking answers to the enigma before them. Who is he, Bola? Where did he come from? Yemisi asked, her voice soft with concern. Bola shook her head, her eyes reflecting uncertainty. No one knows Yemisi. He just appeared one day, a lost soul in her midst. Yemisi's brow furrowed with worry, her heart aching for the troubled stranger. But we can't just ignore him, Bola. He needs help. Bola laughed, brushing off Yemisi's concerns. He's just a madman, Yemisi. What can we do? Though Bola's words stung, Yemisi couldn't shake the feeling of compassion that tugged her heart. She resolved to help the madman to ease the burden of his suffering, no matter the obstacles in her path. Days passed, and Yemisi found herself drawn to the palace gates, waiting in silent vigil for the madman to pass. Each time he shuffled by, her heart would ache with empathy, yet fear held her back from reaching out. Alone in her chamber, Yemisi wrestled with her thoughts, searching for a solution to the mystery that plagued her village. The image of the madman haunted her dreams, his eyes filled with a silent plea for help. One day, unable to bear the weight of her silence any longer, Yemisi approached Oba Adeyinka with trembling resolve. She poured out her heart to him, begging for his aid in easing the suffering of the madman. But Oba Adeyinka could offer no solace. His hands tied by the unknown origins of the troubled soul that wandered their streets. Yemisi's heart sank with disappointment, yet a flicker of determination remained ignited within her. As the sun set over Isheri, Yemisi vowed to find a way to help the madman, to bring light to the darkness that clouded his mind. Though the path ahead was fraught with uncertainty, her spirit burned bright with hope, ready to face whatever challenges lay in wait. As the days stretched into weeks, Yemisi could no longer ignore the pull of her instincts. With a heart heavy with determination, she waited at the palace gate for the madman to pass by once more. And when he did, she followed him, her steps faltering with uncertainty, yet fueled by compassion. Through the winding paths of his sherry they walked, the madman casting wary glances over his shoulder, while Yemisi trailed behind. Her resolve growing stronger with each step. Finally, in a quiet corner of the village, the madman turned to face her, his eyes clouded with confusion. Why do you follow me, madwoman? Have I troubled you in any way? He asked, his voice changed with a mixture of suspicion and weariness. Yemisi swallowed her fear and shook her head. No, you haven't troubled me. I want to help you. She replied, her words filled with sincerity. The madman laughed, his laughter echoing through the stillness of the village. Help me? You think you can help? You madwoman. He scoffed, his words laced with bitterness. But Yemisi refused to be deterred. Day after day, she waited for the madman to pass by, offering him kindness and compassion in the hopes of easing the torment of his troubled mind. And though 
He resisted at first, calling her a mad woman. Yemisi persisted, her heart overflowing with compassion. One day, she approached the palace maid, her eyes shining with determination. Prepare a delicious meal for me and bring it to me. She instructed, her voice steady with resolve. With the food in hand, Yemisi waited patiently for the madman to pass by once more. And when he did, she offered him the meal with a smile, her heart pounding with anticipation. To her surprise, the madman accepted the food eagerly, his eyes lighting up with delight as he devoured the delicious meal. And as he sat in the corner of the bush, savoring every bite, Yemisi watched him with a sense of joy and satisfaction. From that day forward, Yemisi continued to offer the madman food and companionship, slowly breaking through the barriers of his madness to forge a bond of friendship. And as the days turned into weeks, the madman began to call her friend, his once troubled mind finding solace in her unwavering kindness. With each passing day, Yemisi's heart swelled with pride, knowing that her efforts were making a difference in the life of her newfound friend. And though the road ahead was still uncertain, she faced it with courage and determination, knowing that with love and compassion, anything was possible. In the heart of Isheri, whispers of rumors swelled like leaves caught in a gentle breeze. Bola, Yemisi's steadfast friend, watched with a heavy heart as Yemisi's attention drifted away, consumed by her newfound friendship with the madman. Approaching Yemisi with consign etched upon her brow, Bola pleaded with her to cease her visit to the troubled soul that wandered their village. But Yemisi's resolve remained unyielding, her heart bound by a sense of duty and compassion. As days turned into weeks, the rumors grew wings, soaring through the village like wildfire. Tales of Omoba's supposed love for the madman spread like ripples in a pond, casting a shadow over the once vibrant village of Isheri. When the whispers reached the ears of Oba Adeyinka, his fury knew no bounds. Summoning Yemisi to his side, he demanded answers, his voice a thunderous boom that echoed through the palace halls. Is it true, Yemisi? He thundered, his eyes flashing with anger. Are you truly entangled with this madman? Yemisi's heart clenched with fear as she faced her father's words. Though her words rang true, the king's anger remained unquenched, his judgment swift and unforgiving. In a moment of desperation, Oba de Inca decreed that Yemisi be confined within the palace walls, her every movement watched by the palace guards. Though Yemisi pleaded for mercy, her father's heart remained hardened, blinded by fear and pride. As the days stretched on, Yemisi's heart ached with longing for the friend she had been torn away from. Each passing moment weighed heavily upon her soul, a silent reminder of the bond they had forged amidst the chaos of their world. Meanwhile, Outside the palace gates, the madman stood vigil, his eyes burning with determination. Day after day, he returned, his patience unwavering, his spirit unbroken. But when Yemisi fell to appear, a rage ignited within him. A fierce fire that threatened to consume everything in its path. With each passing moment, his frustration grew until at last it boiled over into a tempest of fury. 
The guards tasked with keeping the palace secure We are no match for the madman's rot. With a roar of defiance, he launched himself at the gates, his fist pounding against the cold iron with primal fury. Caught off guard, the guards scrambled to contain the chaos, their voices raised in a desperate attempt to quell the storm. But the madman paid them no heed, his only desire to reach the friend he had lost. As the sun dipped low on the horizon, casting long shadows over Isheri, the madman remained steadfast, his resolve unshakable. For in the depth of his heart, he knew that no barrier could keep him from the one who had shown him kindness in a world devoid of hope. And so, as the night descended upon the village, a lone figure stood defiantly before the palace gates, a beacon of determination in a world consumed by darkness. And though the road ahead was fraught with peril, he would not rest until he had reclaimed the friendship that had been torn asunder. As the chaos at the palace gate escalated, Oba Adeyinka's consign deepened. His worry etched upon his furrowed brow. Despite his orders, the guards proved powerless against the relentless determination of the madman who stood as a solitary sentinel, a guardian of his own newfound friendship. In a moment of desperation, Oba Adeyinka summoned Yemisi, his heart heavy with apprehension. He begged her to reason with the madman to convince him to leave the palace gates and restore peace. With a heavy heart, Yemisi emerged from the palace, her footsteps faltering as she approached the madman. But as their eyes met, a wave of relief washed over her, for in that moment, she knew that she was safe in his presence. The madman's joy knew no bounds as he embraced Yemisi. His eyes filled with concern. Did they hurt you, my friend? He asked, his voice tinged with worry. Yemisi shook her head, a soft smile gracing her lips. No, my friend, I am unharmed. She reassured him, her heart overflowing with gratitude for his unwavering loyalty. For hours they talked. Their words a balm to the wounds that scared their souls. Though madness clouded his mind, Yemisi understood him in ways that no one else could. Their bond transcending the barriers of sanity and reason. As the night descended upon Isheri, Yemisi made a decision that would change the course of their destiny. With quiet determination, she led the madman into the palace, offering him shelter within its walls. The madman soon found solace in the safety of his newfound home, his restless spirit finally at peace. Yemisi watched over him with tender care, her heart filled with a sense of purpose that had long eluded her. But outside the palace walls, Whispers of concern grew louder, reaching the ears of Oba Deika and his wife. Fearing for the safety of their daughter, they sought counsel from the wisest of their people, the Araba. When the Araba arrived at the palace, his gaze fell upon the madman, a knowing glint in his eyes. With solemn reverence, he spoke of a bond forged by the hands of destiny a connection that bound Yemisi and the madman together in ways that defied understanding. Oba Deinka's heart sank with the realization as the rabbi revealed the truth of their faith. Though torn between his duty as a father and his love for his daughter, he knew that he could not deny the will of the gods. And so, with a heavy heart, Oba Adeinka vowed to heed the Arabas' warning, 
to never again stand in the way of the bond that united Yemisi and the madman. For in the depths of their souls, they held the key to a future that was written in the stars, a destiny intertwined with the threads of fate. In the hushed corridors of the palace, a silent bond blows on between Yemisi and the madman. Their hearts intertwined in a dance of fate and destiny. Day by day, Yemisi tended to his needs with tender care, her love for him growing stronger with each passing moment. Though the madman's presence brought chaos and confusion to the palace, Yemisi remained steadfast in her devotion, her unwavering love a beacon of light in the darkness that shrouded their world. With gentle hands, she caught his hair and clothed him in garments fit for a prince. Her touch a soothing balm to his restless soul. Though he struggled with bouts of fury and confusion, Yemisi's presence calmed the storm within him. Her voice a melody that suited his troubled mind. But amidst the tranquility of their sanctuary, whispers of discontent stirred in the village, casting a shadow over their love. Bola, once Yemisi's closest friend, distanced herself from the palace, her heart heavy with fear and uncertainty. As the villagers spoke ill of Omar Ba and the madman, Yemisi's resolve wavered. Her heart torn between duty and desire. Yet, despite the whispers and the doubts that plagued her mind, she found herself drawn to the madman with an intensity that she could not ignore. And so, on a night basked in moonlight, Yemisi made a decision that would change the course of their destiny forever. With trembling hands and a heart filled with longing, she stole into the madman's heart, her footsteps silent as a whisper on the wind. As he lay sleeping, his future softened by the gentle embrace of slumber, Yemisi leaned down and pressed her lips to his. A silent prayer whispered upon her breath. In that moment, time stood still. The world falling away as their souls became one in the stillness of the night. Retreating to her chamber with a smile upon her lips, Yemisi's heart swelled with a newfound sense of joy and purpose. Though uncertainty lingered on the horizon, she knew that she had found her true love in the arms of the madman, a love that would defy all odds and stand the test of time. And as she lay beneath the blanket of stars, her thoughts consumed by thoughts of the madman, she prayed with all her heart that he would one day awaken from the darkness that clouded his mind and embrace the love that had blossomed between them with open arms. As the first rays of dawn painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, a miracle unfolded within the palace walls. The madman, once lost to the shadows of madness, awoke to a world transformed, his mind clear and his spirit renewed. With a sense of wonderment, he emerged from the confines of his heart, his heart pounding with excitement as he surveyed his surroundings. Though confusion clouded his thoughts, a sense of peace settled over him, a gentle reminder of the love that had guided him through the darkness. Approaching the guards, he sought answers to the questions that danced upon his lips. With patience, understanding, they explained his newfound reality, the truth of his past laid bare before him. As he grappled with the enormity of his transformation, he caught sight of Yemisi approaching, her smile a beacon of light 
in the dimly lit courtyard. With a rush of emotion, he embraced her, his heart overflowing with gratitude for the kindness he had shown him. Omoba, he whispered, his voice filled with reverence. Thank you for bringing me here, for showing me kindness when all others turned away. Yemisi's eyes shimmered with tears as she listened to his words, her heart brimming with joy at his newfound clarity. Though they had shared many moments together in the darkness, this was the first time he had called her by name, a testament to the bond that had formed between them. With a gentle touch, Yemisi led him back to the safety of his heart. Her heart light with relief as she watched him settle into his newfound reality. And as the hours passed, they spoke of his past, piecing together the fragment of memory that had eluded him for so long. My name is Tayo, he said, his voice soft with uncertainty. I am from Ijegun village, but beyond that, I remember nothing. Yemisi listened with rapt attention as Tayo recounted his tale. Her heart heavy with empathy for the struggles he had faced. Though the memories were painful, she found solace in the knowledge that he was finally free from the chains of madness that had bound him for so long. With a sense of purpose, Yemisi led Tayo to the palace where Oba Adeinka and his wife are waited with battered breath. As they were so happy about the transformation, tears of joy streamed down their cheeks, their hearts overflowing with gratitude for the miracle that had unfolded before their eyes. In the tranquil halls of the palace, Oba Adeinka awaited the arrival of their rabba with battered breath, his heart heavy with anticipation. As the wise man entered the chamber, a smile graced his lips, his eyes alight with the knowledge of the truth that lay hidden within the shadows of the past. It is done, their rabba proclaimed, his voice a gentle melody that resonated through the room. With eager ears, Oba and Inka listened as their rabbi revealed the long lost tale of Tayo, a son of Isheri Kingdom. His destiny intertwined with the threads of fate and destiny. As the story unfolded, a sense of wonderment washed over him, the piece of the puzzle finally falling into place. Tayo's mother held from Ijegun village. The Araba explained, his words carrying the weight of centuries old secrets. She came to Isheri to work on the farms, and there she met the late Adebayo, Oba Adeinka's best friend. She bore his child and disappeared, raising Tayo all by herself. He told them that the mantle of leadership was bestowed upon Adebayo's household and Tayo was the only son he had which makes him the next Oba after Oba Adeinka. At the revelation, Oba Adeinka's heart swelled with a mixture of emotions, his mind reeling with the implications of Tayo's true identity. For in the midst of madness and uncertainty, a prince had been born, his destiny shaped by the hands of fate. It was true madness and the love of Yemisi that Tayo's true self was revealed. The Araba continued, his gaze resting upon the young couple with a sense of reverence. It was her kiss that broke the chains of madness, freeing him from the prison of his mind. As the truth sank in, Oba Adeinka and his wife were overcome with gratitude their hearts overflowing with joy at the miraculous turn of events. With tears of happiness streaming down their cheeks, 
They welcome Tayo back into the fold. His rightful place by their side as a prince of his Sherry kingdom. With each passing day, Tayo embraced his new role with grace and humility. His heart filled with a sense of purpose that had long eluded him. Beside Oba Adeinka, he learned the ways of their people, immersing himself in the culture and tradition of his Sherry kingdom with fervent determination. And by his side stood the MEC, her love for him unwavering and true. As they walked hand in hand through the bustling village, their bond grew stronger with each passing moment. A testament to the power of love and the resilience of the human spirit. As the sun set over Isheri, casting its warm embrace over the land, a sense of peace settled over the kingdom, a new era downing with the promise of hope and renewal. And amidst the dance of life and the rhythm of tradition, the love story of Yemisi and Tayo flourished, a beacon of light in a world filled with darkness. As the sun rose high in the sky, casting its warm glow over the village of Isheri, the day had finally arrived for Yemisi and Tayo to join their lives together in matrimony. With a heart full of joy and anticipation, the entire village gathered to celebrate their union. Their laughter and music echoing through the air like a sweet melody. Underneath a canopy of vibrant flowers, Yemisi and Tayo stood hand in hand, their eyes shining with love and happiness. Oba Adeinka and his wife bestowed their blessings upon the couple, their words filled with hope and encouragement for the journey that lay ahead. With each vow spoken and each promise made, the bond between Yemisi and Tayo grew stronger. Their love, a beacon of light that illuminated the path before them. And as they sealed their union, the village erupted into cheers and applause, their joyous voices ringing out like bells in the wind. With the ceremony complete, the new couple embarked on their journey together, their hearts filled with excitement for the adventures that awaited them. Hand in hand, they walked through the village, their steps light and carefree, their laughter blending with the sweet melody of the bird song that filled the air. In the days that followed, Yemisi and Tayo settled into their new life together, their love blossoming with each passing moment. As they explored the beauty of their kingdom hand in hand, they cherished every moment they shared, grateful for the love that bound them together. And then, as if by magic, the news spread throughout the village like wildfire. Yemisi was with a child. The joyous news brought smiles to the faces of all who had it. Their heart filled with anticipation for the arrival of the newest member of their family. Months passed, and soon the day arrived when Yemisi and Tayo welcomed their first child into the world, a beautiful baby boy whom they named Adebayo in honor of Tayo's late father. With tears of joy streaming down their faces, they held their precious son in their arms, their hearts overflowing with love and gratitude. As Adebayo grew, he brought even more happiness and laughter into their lives. His laughter filling the palace with warmth and joy. And as he took his first steps and uttered his first words, Yemisi and Tayo marveled at the miracle of parenthood, grateful for the blessing of their son. With each passing day, Yemisi and Tayo's love for each other and for their son grew stronger their bond unbreakable and eternal. And as they looked out over their kingdom, surrounded by the love and support of their family and friends, they knew 
that they were truly blessed. And so, with heart full of gratitude and love, Yemisi and Tayo lived happily ever after. Their love story, a testament to the power of love, hope, and the resilience of human spirit. And as they watched the sunset over Isheri, casting its warm embrace over the land, they knew that their journey together was just beginning, filled with endless possibilities and boundless love. The story of Yemisi and Tayo teaches us that kindness, love, and compassion can conquer any challenge. Yemisi's unconditional love and care for Tayo, even when he was considered mad, led to his miraculous recovery. It shows that no matter how difficult a situation may seem, showing kindness and helping others can make a big difference. Additionally, the story teaches us about the power of destiny and how sometimes things happen for a reason beyond our understanding. By embracing love and facing challenges with courage, we can overcome obstacles and find happiness in the end. Thanks for watching this amazing story about Yemisi, Omoba, and Tayo on African Stories. If you liked it and felt inspired with their journey, please show your support by clicking the like button, sharing with your friends, and leaving a comment below. To see more interesting stories and learn about different cultures, subscribe to African Stories and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a new story. Your support means a lot and helps us bring more stories to you. Until we meet again, stay connected, stay inspired and keep smiling.